The name West Point conjures up images of excellence in leadership, of precise military training, of duty, honor, and country. The mission of Adventist West Point is to encourage, educate, equip, and empower. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. If you've never attended an Adventist West Point, then you've missed out on an incredible experience. But the good news is, it's not too late to register for Adventist West Point 2019 in Reno, Nevada, April 21 through 24. The theme this year is focused on reaching my community for the kingdom. Adventist West Point is a training event focusing on innovative strategies and training for church growth. Pastors, chaplains, students, lay church leaders, anyone with an interest in expanding their ministry effectiveness will be challenged and blessed by the slate of activities that are planned for this year. Our All God's People team will be there to participate right along with you and to interview attendees about what they've learned and what they love best about the three-day experience. To register, go to AdventistWestPoint.org. We love stories from the Nevada-Utah Conference. Did you know that according to the Salt Lake Tribune's analysis of the 2010 U.S. Census data, one of every four Tongans living in the U.S. resides in Utah? And the state of Utah ranks second in the U.S. for total population of Tongans, behind California and ahead of Hawaii. The recently formed Talaki Mamani Church in Salt Lake City, Utah, gathered friends from across their conference and beyond to celebrate in a church organization ceremony in their rented facility last October. By the way, Talaki Mamani means tell the world. Initially, the group was formed in 2003, and they grew steadily. And as they grew, so did their vision for becoming a church and expanding their outreach. It was a very special day, said Nevada Utah Conference President Leon Brown. My greatest joy was seeing Christian young people involved actively in singing and sharing the love of Jesus Christ. Let's continue to remember this growing congregation in our prayers as they reach their next goal, building a place of worship they can call home. The fires in Redwood and Paradise have made us very aware of what can happen to our schools or churches when a natural disaster strikes. Right now, Pine Springs Ranch is still isolated because of flooding that has washed out the roads. Here in the Pacific Union, we've dealt with floods, earthquakes, even the lava flow from volcanoes. Unfortunately, in the past, there have even been minor cases of violence impacting our churches and members. Our leadership takes every one of these situations very seriously. How do we prepare for the worst? How do we keep our institutions, schools, and churches safe? And most importantly, how do we keep our members safe? Adventist Risk Management has prepared excellent resources that are being highlighted tomorrow, March 23, on Safety Sabbath. In addition to earthquake drill and fire drill guides, they've included active shooter drill guides and an active shooter situation video to help educate us on what to do. Much thought and planning has gone into these resources from ARM. If your church is not prepared to actually conduct the drill on Sabbath, March 23, you can plan ahead with these resources to begin the process of readiness and educating members in the weeks to come. A few weeks ago, Elder Ricardo Graham shared his favorite text with us. It's Isaiah 41.10 and seems particularly meaningful to me today. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. May all God's people experience the peace of a loving Heavenly Father who strengthens, helps, and upholds us. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you next week.